Hi ladies, I hope you are well. So it's been about two months or over since I last did a video. Um, I've been very irregular and my videos have been very far in between, but I've made a pledge to myself today to start recording regularly and uploading. Some of the excuses I've made in the past for not recording are um, I have a child-friendly zone in my house, which means I have children. Therefore, there are always toys and shoes and clothes about, and sometimes it's just too tiring or inconvenient for me to tidy up before I record a video. And then the day passes and the day passes, but um, I've decided now that I will record wherever I find myself. So if I'm in the house, in front of my house, um, out having coffee or business meeting, I'll find somewhere to record. Now, I want to start on a mini-series on a topic that is very, very close to my heart and I think a topic that a lot of women in the Christian community um, want to talk about but maybe find it difficult to talk about, and that's domestic abuse in Christian marriages. It is something that I have experienced um, myself, um, having had issues in my own marriage with emotional abuse, and thank God, you know, God provided a way for me and given me strength and strategies. So I want to start talking about this issue. My experience in the past has been that it's something that's very, very difficult to deal with, obviously. Um, within the church, people, most people, not everyone, don't have the knowledge or the skills to deal with this, this very difficult issue. So... Statistics show in the UK and the US that one out of four women um, are abused. So if you have a con congregation of 100 people in your church, probably 25 people in that church are living in domestic abuse situations, mostly women and some men. Um, these are just statistics and these are what are recorded um, and evidence. So I believe that it's really important to start talking about domestic abuse um, emotional abuse and I know that there are people out there in my network on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter who would have experienced or who are currently in marriages where there is emotional abuse. Now what makes emotional abuse so different in the church from outside the church is that you always have an aspect of spiritual abuse. So you have a spouse who is abusive, who is a Christian, so who has the Bible and the word of God at their um their dis exposure or dis dis disposure, and they're able to use that as an extra tool to cover their activities. So it's a very, very difficult area. On top of the fact that people who belong to the Christian community expect a special kind of love and protection from the community, which they normally don't get. And this can le uh, lead to bitterness and um, hurt and even more damage. So I'm going to start talking about this. I really want everybody who kind of listens to the video to share and like and get involved. If you feel safe to share your testimonies or comments, please do. I do realize that um, domestic abuse is a very serious issue. If you feel unsafe, then don't um, talk about um, stuff online. You can always go to a safe place online, speak to women's services. You can contact me if you want to talk further. But today I'm going to talk about um, what um, emotional abuse and domestic abuse is. So I'm using both words, but I'm going to narrow down more on emotional abuse. So emotional abuse is basically intention. It's not what somebody does, is the way they do it. And it's done intentionally to, to hurt you and crush your spirit and ultimately destroy you. So an, an abusive person will come up with a purposeful, well-planned, strategic, um, consistent behavior, which is aimed at a specific person, so this, the wife or the husband, in the home will be the target for this person who um, wants to abuse. And the reason why an abuser abuses is because most of the times they're carrying a lot of hurt and anger issues and it's gotten to a point where it's almost, most, not almost, most of the times it's demonic, um, where they can no longer control these negative works of the flesh anger, jealousy, envy, which leads them to abuse. So that is what emotional abuse is. I'm going to expand on it over the next um, few days, few weeks, how long, however long this series is going to be. Um, hopefully I'll have my tripod so my camera won't be shaking like it is today. But I just really want to open up and start um, this topic. So that is what emotional abuse is. A lot of people, when they first start experiencing emotional abuse, they don't even know what emotional abuse is. They just realize that something is terribly wrong in their relationship. They can't figure out why the husband or wife is so horrible. Um, and 
has leads a double life. So normally at home, the husband will abuse or the wife will abuse. And then outside of the home, they are normal Mr. Joe, um, normal Mr. Brown, you know, good character outside the home. So people outside the home don't believe the victim when they finally do speak out. But that's what emotional abuse is. If you're in a relationship and you are wondering why your spouse has a double life, um, why you and maybe your children are targeted for spitefulness, um, consistent and regular outbursts of anger, name calling, um, you're being rejected sexually, there's a lot of push and pull, then you're most likely expect, um, so experiencing emotional abuse. The first thing you need to do is to accept that it's happening, it's not your fault, and the victim um, is just a vessel that the enemy is using. So, like I said, this is a very, very quick intro video. This is going to be a long series. I'm going to uh, put together a playlist, and hopefully I'll have my tripod so I'm not shaking all over the place in the next video. But I'd like to hear from you if you feel you are safe enough to comment below please i'd like you to share this video even though it's not of the greatest quality but i think it's an important topic for us to start discussing so ladies thank you for um your time if you're new to my channel this is a very new channel i'd like you to please subscribe and like this video um you can look at my other videos that i've done and also share with a friend and i'll be back very soon